has been a chiller to start the weekend, but luckily we had a lot of sunshine earlier this Saturday. Let's go take you live outside now, taking a look at things along the parkway here in Center City. We've got some more fairly cold temperatures out there, but not as bad as what we woke up to. Meteorologist Tammy Souza has a look at the rest of our weekend. Well, after a day that was spent mainly in the 40s, it's going to feel pretty nice tomorrow to get back to those 50s, right? Uh, that's where we should be this time of year. But it does come with rain late tomorrow night, and we're going to see clouds increasing throughout the night tonight and throughout the day tomorrow. But the payoff to all of this is going to be a very nice Thanksgiving ahead. It looks like sunshine and 50s, a great day to get out and play touch football or take a walk or whatever you want to do. So here's what's going to be happening overnight. The clouds are going to be increasing because we have got this cold front that is out to the west and it's going to be approaching us throughout the day tomorrow. It swings through tomorrow night and early on Monday. So for tonight we see those clouds in place. The winds are still coming in out of the north and the west so it's still a much cooler air mass that's out there. This is 7 o'clock on your Sunday morning so if you're going to be heading out you will need a jacket again but it won't be quite as cold. Now Sunday 1 o'clock in the afternoon we're starting to see those winds kind of swing around a little bit to the south. They're going to warm us up into the 50s and you can see well off to our west, there is a rain-snow mix moving through parts of the southern Poconos. Well, we don't really see that rain move in here until about 6 or 7 o'clock at night into the Poconos and starting in the Lehigh Valley. Then we see it spreading across the area, probably into Philadelphia just before midnight because it's still, it's still very slow moving. Because it's slow moving, we're, consider, we're con actually concerned about some heavier pockets of rainfall. So that's something we'll keep an eye on as well. The winds are still coming out of the south, so it's still very mild. This is 3.30 in the morning on Monday. Rain moving across Philadelphia. And it is still down the shore, exiting the shore by about 10 o'clock in the morning with clouds to follow. And maybe some flurries or some snow squalls in places like the Poconos. So I think Monday we're going to wind up with cloudy skies, spotty showers, and still mild conditions. As far as the rain chances Sunday. This 8% represents what comes in at night. Monday, that is our wet day, but as we scoot through the week ahead, things look pretty nice, especially for Thanksgiving. With a 1% chance, you might as well figure it's <laughs> no chance at all. So let's walk you through what's going to be happening. Here we are on Monday afternoon. That system is gone. We do have some clouds in place, but Tuesday we clear out and it looks pretty decent. Uh, Wednesday for travel through Chicago, not bad, just a little bit of a system there. Then we're going to be looking at Thursday across the Tennessee Valley, another system, but not for us. We get a little bit of rain off to our north and west, not in the Philadelphia area on Thanksgiving, and then snow squalls come in after that. As far as travel, okay, on Wednesday, breezy with dry roads. A Wednesday midday, it'll be sunny and chilly, and clear skies and dry roads Wednesday night. Here's your Thanksgiving forecast. We're looking at 56 degrees, mostly sunny and pleasant out there, with winds out of the south and the west. Tonight, 41, mostly cloudy, but not as cold as last night. 57, for tomorrow, mostly cloudy with showers at night. And then we're looking at 53 with rain on Monday, raw on Tuesday, but a beautiful Thanksgiving ahead. Back to you. All right.